Hey guys, my name is Blame the Controller, and ever since I released my custom adventure map, Kingdom of the Sky, people have been asking me how I made the map, what mods I used. So what I'm going to show you right now is one of the mods that I use quite frequently. It's called World Edit. It's part of Single Player Commands. And what it allows you to do is add, remove, or modify large pieces of the landscape instantly. If you learn to use this mod, it will cut your building time in half, if not more. It's an incredible mod and it gives you a lot of flexibility and it's it's just really it's an essential for a map maker. So in this video I'm gonna teach you the basics and the fundamentals of the world edit mod so that you can pretty much hit the ground running. Alright so let's get started. First you have to understand that a lot of the parts of this mod are activated by console commands. So the first thing we need to do is get ourselves a wand. So we're going to press T to bring up your command prompt or your talk prompt. You're going to press slash slash wand and hit enter. It will give you a wand. Now in this mod a wand is represented by a wooden axe. Alright, so what does the wooden axe let us do? It allows us to select pieces of the world. So we're going to left click to select our first position and then we're going to right click to select the second position. Alright so now that we've selected an area we can change that area using the set command. So we're going to press T slash slash set and we're going to change it to stone. So there you go. All the grass blocks have now been changed to stone and even the air blocks over here. All right. Maybe we don't like that though. How do we get rid of it? Well, there's an undo command. T slash slash undo. And you can see it changes all the stone blocks to either the grass or the air. All right. Now, what if we don't want to change the air, but we do want to change all the all the grass blocks? Or maybe there's sand here or some other kind of blocks, wool or wood or something. We only want to change the grass blocks. How do we do that? All right. Well, there's another command for that. T slash slash, and the command is replace. And we're going to replace the grass only with stone. So as you can see, unlike last time, it didn't fill in the air blocks with stone. It only replaced the grass. All right. Well, we don't like this either. So we're going to take that away. So slash slash undo and it gets rid of it. We want it to be a combination of stone and cobblestone. So T slash slash replace grass and the code for stone is one and the code for cobblestone is four. Now you can either use stone or you can use one. It doesn't matter. We press enter and what you can see is it replaced with kind of a 50-50 mix of cobblestone and stone. Alright, well we don't like this either. So T slash slash undo and it gets rid of it. We want it to be almost all cobblestone and only a little bit of stone. So T slash slash replace grass and we're going to replace it with a lot of cobblestone and one stone. Now what you can see here is the majority of the replaced grass blocks are all cobblestone and there's only a small portion of stone. So that's an incredible, incredible utility that you can use to age a building or you can use it to change a hillside to look more natural. It's a great tool and I use it all the time. All right. We got all these trees in the way and we need to have a clear working space. So let's get rid of all this. We're going to left click to set our first point. We're going to come over here and we're going to right click to set our second point and we're going to wipe out this small section of forest. T slash slash set air and it wipes it out. Oh, but look at the ground. We don't like how that looks. You got some water, some dirt, some gravel. That looks terrible. We want the whole thing to be 
let's make the whole bottom cobblestone. I'm going to right click, uh, excuse me, left click to set our first point. Then we're going to right click to set our second point. T slash slash set four for cobblestone. And now we have a nice working space for our redstone device or whatever we want to do. All right, now the next thing that we're going to learn is the walls command. So let's say we want to make a large rectangular structure that does not have a roof or a floor. You use the walls command. So we're going to left click to set our first point here. And then we're going to come over to here where the tree is. And we're going to right click. We're going to do T slash slash walls and we're going to make it stone. And what it does is it creates the rectangular structure of the selected area with no roof and no floor. But you know what? We don't like that. We want it to have a roof and we want it to have a floor. And we want it to be dirt. So T slash slash, the command we're going to use for that is outline. And then dirt. And what it does is it creates a big rectangular object that is hollow inside. So we have our roof, we have our floor, and we have all our walls. All right, the next thing we're going to learn are brushes. Brushes are incredibly, incredibly handy. Now, a brush has to be applied to an item in your inventory, and it can't be a block. I like to use things like the clay ball, the feathers, arrows, ingots. I typically make them all the same thing, so I know what each one is when I just scroll through it. All right, so we're going to make a large stone sphere. So we're going to select our clay ball, and we're going to press T slash slash BR for brush. And then we're going to make a sphere. We're going to make it out of stone. And we're going to make it a size of 5. The sizes range from 1 to 6. Now, how it works is it centers the sphere on whatever block you click on. So as you can see, it created a large stone sphere. Now, let's say you need to fill in an area. Watch this. All right, now there are other kinds of brushes that we can use. One of them is called the cylinder brush. So we're going to make, we're going to turn this feather into a dirt cylinder brush. So we press T slash slash BR for brush, CYL for cylinder. Then we want it to be dirt. We want it to be six across and six high, which is again the maximum. Press enter, and this feather is now our cylinder brush. Right click and it will create the cylinder. Now, it's important to note 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Why? Because the blocks that you clicked on, the ones underneath, got changed. So whatever block it is that you click on, that counts as the first level. Now, this is a good way of deleting pieces of the ground one layer at a time. So we'll use the arrow this time and you do T slash slash BR sill air. We want to change it to air. We want to delete it. And let's make it four across and only one high. What's going to happen is it deletes one layer at a time. Very, very useful tool. All right, so the next brush, we're going to use the iron ingot for this one. The next brush is very helpful in making more natural looking landscapes, more natural looking mountains and hillsides. So T slash slash BR smooth, and then we want it to be, we'll max it out again, six by six. Now, what does this do? Well, you remember this over here? 
let's make this look a little bit more natural. Using the smooth brush, you can make it look more natural. Very, very useful, useful brush. All right, so let's say we don't want this to be cobblestone anymore, okay? We want it to have grass on top of it. We want to keep the cobblestone, but we still want to put grass on top of it. So we can right, uh, excuse me, left click here, select your first position, come over here, right click, set your second position, and then we're going to use another command, T slash slash overlay, and we're going to put grass on top of it. So we still have our cobblestone, but it put a layer of grass blocks all the way across. The next three commands all have to do with water and lava. So the first one is going to be the drain command, and the drain command will remove large pieces of water or lava. You go into the source, so into the water or lava, press T, slash slash, drain, and then the distance we will do 15. And it will wipe out all the water or lava within 15 blocks. All right, now how can we fix this? Well, let's say that we didn't just drain it. Let's say this is naturally occurring, and we want this water to meet this water over here. Well, there's a command for that. And there's one for lava as well. They're effectively the same thing, but they do have a different command. They're the fix water and fix lava commands. Now, pay close attention because they only use one slash. So what we're going to do is you go into the water level that you want to fix. So in this case, we want to fix it at the top level. T slash fix water or fix lava and then the distance you want it to travel. We'll say 55. We want to make sure it goes all the way over there. Press enter and all the water has been filled in. To give you another quick example, I'm going to fill in this ravine right here. I'm going to come over here, T slash fix water 55 enter and it fills it in. All right, guys, that's the end of my tutorial. If you found it helpful, please subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching.